that I mean, I, I once looked down a list of 30 odd players, yeah. and I thought, we're going into third division here, and I've got about six that I can rely on <laughs> to, to even perform in the third division, you know. Yeah, it was a bit. And of I was just giving people away, just just saying, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. And people were ringing up, what about this blow? I think you can have Take him. You can have yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, you're flooded quite a few of them, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, it's quite a lot. Just I think, just I think 16, I think, I got rid of in the first year. Yeah. I mean, I always tell the tale of Dickler, I don't know what I've told Dickler. It's a name that'll go down in him with me. I came in one day, I, I, well, it stopped me if I've told you. But no, 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 I, go on, I, I, I'm I'm sorry. I came in a, late one day, and it was like, say we trained at quarter to ten, and we did, uh, at ten o'clock, and this was about, <coughs> for me it would be late, at twenty to ten, when I was rushing to get in. And I saw this car, which was a bit of a, bit of rubbish to, <laughs> to say the least, and it was like steamed up. It was a cold day, and it was steamed up, but it I could just notice Dick Le Fleming. <laughs> and I knocked on the window, I says, what's the matter, Dick? And in the car was, he must have had every newspaper from four months ago, you know, and it was all piled in the seats. And I thought, oh, I says, it's not time to go in here. I mean, don't forget, we were trading at 10 o'clock. He's and like he's sleeping in the car. Yeah. <laughs> So we got training and I started doing what we call Chelsea laps and, you know, running, and, which was pretty hard. And he became sick, Dick. And uh, so I stopped and I said, what the hell is the matter with you? He said, oh, he said, oh, I can't do this. He said, he said, I've just had a big breakfast, you know. And he said, You'll have to, if you're going to do this with me, he said, you'll have to give me prior warning. <laughs> well, I mean, when I look back, I think, prior warning. I mean, you know, does the manager go and say, oh, by the way, like, you know, we're, we're, we're doing tomorrow. this tomorrow, you know, so don't have a big breath. <coughs> Just incredible. And, and but it's, you've inherited some really... Oh, you know, I could go through them, you know, there was a goalkeeper. Bob Appleby? Or no, there was Bob, Eddie Connachan. Ed, Eddie Connachan, yeah. Him. I'm not kidding, he saved a penalty in the first match that I went there, and the ball trickled. Actually, he dived and he trickled to within a, a foot, not more than a couple of feet away from mm -hmm. And he, I mean, he made a good save, mm -hmm. but he was that fat, he couldn't get up to <laughs> collect it. So the bloke who took the kick run, ran from the 12 yard well, and knocked it in. <laughs> And, I'm, he's, and he's still lying there on the bloody floor, like, you know, and we're, we're playing Cardiff, we've got big four. Oh, that was a fourth of your debut, that was Yeah, it? I, yeah. Sco I yeah. scored the, yeah. the, on, on my debut, and, and uh, it's just unbelievable, you know. And, uh, Ian Davidson. Oh, Ian Davidson. You know, uh, God, I, there was Jimmy Townsend. Uh, oh, Jim, yeah, Jimmy Townsend was the one who, Bobby Braithwaite, I mean, Bobby was all right, but he was, he was finished then. But uh, Jimmy Townsend was the one way we went to Bristol City to play. And he had to come off at, in the kickoff. Before the kickoff, he went on and it was quite muddy. Yeah. And it obviously didn't suit him. So he had a kick at the ball and he said he pulled a muscle and went off. So we had to substitute a player <laughs> before the match started. Now these are the, <laughs> these are the sort of lads that you know.